So yeah, when I first arrive in the venue, first thing I'll do is go up on the stage and just check out the space, see what the distance is from where my mix position is going to be too, just to sort of feel how far away I'm going to be from the musicians if I'm mixing front of house. And yeah, I just try to, you know, I'll clap my hands in the room, maybe to hear some ambience to see how, how much reflection is going on. And a lot, a lot of times it's good just to walk out into the room and just wander around the room and just, just look at different angles and, and clap your hands around and feel what it might sound like just acoustically. I listen um, for, I just listen for ambience really. I'm listening for reflections. I'm listening for um, maybe tonality in the room. If it's a wooden room, it tends to be a little bit warmer. If it had a metal ceiling, it would be a lot brighter. And I'm taking all this into consideration for how I'm gonna both set up the band on stage and how I'm gonna EQ the sound system and get the system in, in tune with the room, so to speak. Setting up the band on stage is important if it's a really live room, especially with acoustic music. You want to keep them as close together as possible so that they can hear one another without having to reinforce too much um, with using the sound system if you have a lot of liveness. Otherwise it gets kind of confusing for them. The band is going to hear the room because that's just natural. It's just a matter of how much of the room they really want to be hearing back. Sometimes it makes it worse for them to play because there's a big delay slap back coming back. Monitors come into, the, into play at that point. If I'm working with an acoustic group that doesn't normally use monitors, then it's just a matter of them having the time to, get, to play in the room for a while to get used to what it feels like. And of course, everything's gonna change when the audience comes in. In-ear monitors are tricky. I don't think they're for every situation. I think with acoustic music, I really don't think they're the solution because it takes away from the space and the ambience. In-ear monitors are an incredible tool, um, but I don't think they're for everything. I think that they, they're very, you're very isolated in your head when you have in-ear monitors. And you definitely have to have somebody who knows how to mix them so that the musicians are hearing um, what they really need to be hearing. I don't recommend them all the time, but when they work, it's, it's fantastic. You definitely need a separate mix to do in your monitors. You gotta have, everybody's gotta have separate mix. Preferably stereo mix for each person, so they, but it's not crucial to have stereo mix. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a uh, very personal way to hear.